Hello everyone, this is Neha Sharma here. Today in this video, we are going to discuss question and answers which are very important from the point of view of your examination. Here I am going to decide extract which based questions also and some short type answer questions also. So please listen and watch carefully. These will be the sample answers if you want to add something from your side. So you can do that but the formation of the sentences and the spellings which you are, you are using uh, that should be correct right so let's discuss first question this is extract based question here so question number one says and did you cut down on the sweet things as i told you this is a line this is a sentence from the chapter chapter number one a triumph of surgery right where we read about a dog and his uh, mistress, Mrs. Pampere, who actually overfed her, fed him and he became sick. So, and did you cut down on the sweet things as I told you? So, this is the dialogue by Dr. Harriet, right? When he, uh, when he saw Mrs. Pampere with the dog Harriet who, who was unable to walk, right? At that time he spoke this. So what sweet things are being referred to in the extract? So answer is given below. The things, the sweet things mentioned in the extract are cream, cakes and chocolates, right? Why does the speaker inquire if the sweet things have been cut down? So the speaker inquires if the sweet things have been cut down because these were spoiling Tricky's health and he needed to be put on on a strict diet okay otherwise he was his physique was like a blotted sausage question number c is what is the meaning of phrase cut down so cut down means what cut down means the uh, means to reduce the quantity of something right so that's why dr uh, harriet also wanted that there should be you know his uh, whatever the diet is that should be cut down means should be reduced because she is giving as we have read in the chapter she uh, doing she was doing over with the dog and uh, because of her love right uh, she was over feeding him also so that's why he wanted that question number d is what is the opposite of sweet so sour sour it's sour is the opposite of sweet right that was question number one question number two is i tried to sound severe now i really means this if you don't cut his food right down and give him more exercise he's going to be really ill you must harden your heart and keep him on a very strict diet so this is the dialogue again of mr harriet who was a veterinary surgeon and the author of the chapter that uh, uh, he told this dialogue, he spoke this dialogue when Mrs. Uh, Pampre denied that uh, she is not cutting down the meal of uh, pump of uh, doc, uh, this dog Tricky, right? So that time he strictly told him, uh, told her that uh, it you have to do that. So this is the dialogue of that time. Why did the speaker try to sound severe? So answer is here, the speaker tried to uh, sound severe to make Mrs. Pampre take his advice seriously and act on it, otherwise the result he knew that it is going to be very bad and the same happened after some time. For whom was the advice given and why? So for whom the advice was given, uh, this is given, okay, please uh, correct the spelling, G-I-V-E-N, for trickies because he, wa he had become obese and listless he was unwell and uh, the speaker wanted him to be on a strict diet so this uh, advice was given for tricky and to whom it was given to whom it is to mrs pampre right and by whom it is given it is given by dr harriet the veterinary surgeon question c is find the word in the extract which is a, which is a synonym of the word serious so serious means severe okay next is what is the antonym of hardened hardened uh, antonym of the word hardened is softened question number three is as i move off mrs pampre with a 
despairing cry threw an armful of little coats through the window. I looked in the mirror before I turned the corner of the drive. Everybody was in tears. So this is the scene when uh, Mr. Harriet got the call from Mrs. Pump from Mrs. Pumpre that the dog is uh, has become very listless not doing only vomiting you know not moving uh, here and there only vomiting and lying on the mat on the uh, on the uh, on the mat whatever she was using so at that time when uh, the doctor suggested uh, Mrs. Pumpre that uh, it should uh, he should be hospitalized hospitalized means tricky should be hospitalized so that time he was carrying the dog to his car right so uh, actually she said that if will, if she will not uh, uh, she would not see this dog uh, for 15 days so she will uh, die okay and uh, she became almost uh, uh, you know she fainted that time when she heard that the dog uh, will remain in the in the surgery of Dr. Harriet, right? So, where was the speaker going to? Going and with whom? So, the speaker, the speaker was going to the hospital with, with Tricky. And who is the speaker? Harriet, Dr. Harriet. Why was everybody in tears? Because everybody was in tears because Tricky was being hospitalized as he was ill and everyone was worried about his health right and uh, you have uh, noticed that is a very you know humorous scene that when every servant made and everyone was busy to get uh, his uh, uh, things whatever the coats the bows the mats something like that right question number c in this is find the word in the extract which is an antonym of the word cheerful so the antonym of the word cheerful here is despairing what is the opposite of before Opposite of before is after. Question number four is, poor old lad, I said, you haven't a kick in you, but I think I know a cure for you. This question was asked in examination of uh, 2012. Okay, so whatever the, uh, have been asked actually in the examinations, I am discussing that, which are very important. I told you earlier too. So question number one here in this extract is, why does the speaker say poor old lad? Okay, so the speaker addresses to whom first we will discuss that, to whom he said. So this he said to uh, the dog. The speaker addresses Tricky as a poor old lad because he is unwell and listless. Why he was listless? Because uh, he was too greedy every time, he could eat any time and uh, his uh, mistress, Mrs. Pampare, she used to give every time the extra like eggs, barani, whiskey, uh, this and that, okay, chocolates and cakes too. Question number two is, means B is, what cure did the speaker know? So the speaker knew that the cure of Tricky's illness is to put him on a strict diet. That's why he carried the dog to the hospital because he knew that Mrs. Pampare uh, she would not allow all these things uh, when the when this dog will remain at home. So that's why he wanted to cure the dog by his own style, right? So that's why he carried and he just gave for two days only water to him, lot of water. So the speaker knew that the cure of Tricky's illness is to put him on a strict diet. What is the meaning of a kick in the extract? The phrase means any alertness right alertness write the synonym of cure so cure a synonym is uh, what heal heal is the synonym of cure now we have to discuss short answer type questions which are for which will be asked for two marks what made james harriet expect a call from mrs pumpre so as we knew that uh, when he saw the condition of the dog when he was walking with the Mrs. Pampre, that time he came to know that he would soon be hospitalized. So what is the answer? James Harriet encounter with Mrs. Pampre and Tricky made him expect a call for help. So James Harriet's encounter with Mrs. Pampre 
and tricky made him expect a call for him uh, for help he was sure that the extra diet and no physical activity would soon put tricky's health in danger and just as anticipated mrs pampre called the wait a few days after words jaisa usne socha tha wahi hua and uh, he could see that actually at the very first side when he saw the doctor in that bad condition he was unable to walk with the uh, you know the like blotted sausage he was with the folded legs and all that with the big tummy also question number 2 what extra did mrs pampre start to give tricky and why what extra so here we are talking about what extra things mrs pampre start to give tricky and why so mrs pampre Uh, thought that tricky was suffering from malnutrition as he was weak and restless so he so she started to give him extra snacks like uh, uh, cod liver oil and malt between the main meals and horlicks after the dinner to make him stronger how funny it is right she also continued his creams and cakes and chocolates so the when the question will be there that what extra things are there so that is what cod liver oil and malt and after the meal uh, she used to give him horlicks also right because she thought that uh, he is lazy because he has been suffering from malnutrition but actually it was not like that question number 3 is what made mrs pampre call the vet vet is what who doctor mr herriot right uh, veterinary this veterinary uh, is the full form of this vet and uh, the doctors for animals is called vet in short and veterinary that's a complete name So what made Mrs. Pampre call the vet? Tricky's condition made Mrs. This is Mrs. Pampre. It is M R S. Okay, by mistake it has been typed like this. Pampre called the vet for help. Tricky had become fat and lazy. He just used to lie on his rug. Rug means what is rug? Rug is something dirty or mat type something, right? And uh, pant. Pant means what? He was panting. right but jojo se saans le raha tha half raha tha it was uh, he was unable to uh, take breath actually because he has taken a lot so he also refused to eat food even his favorite dishes his bout of vomitings added to mrs pampre's worry bout of vomiting means uh, after a fixed time right he was vomiting uh, okay that is why she called james harry harriet so that is why because wo thodi thodi der baad he was vomiting his bouts of vomiting means thode se interval ek fix uh, interval ke baad wo vomit kar raha tha so that's why that uh, uh, you know increase the worry of uh, uh, mrs pampare and uh, she called james harry the wet how can you say that it was hard for mrs pampare to part with her dotting pet so mrs pampare treated as her own child okay tricky she loved him very much it was very difficult for her to see tricky in such a situation as you know uh, because as mother she loves tricky so that's why for a mother it is very difficult to see uh, the kid in a, uh, you know in bad situation or with the uh, he is sick or something like that so it is very difficult for her. so she was distraught when she had to make this decision to hospitalize the tricky distraught means almost fainted for her love for him knew no bounds it was a terrible and a tearful moment for her but she agreed to harriet's suggestion for the betterment for her pet question number 5 says what kind of treatment was given to tricky did it help in his recovery so yes tricky was given a non medicinal treatment he was not given a single medicine because the reason of uh, his illness dr harriet knew very well so because uh, he uh, knew that mrs pampare overfeeding uh, him right so his diet regimen was altered depending upon his body's response to it 
he was kept on liquid diet for the first two days he was given water only and then it was gradually increased yes this treatment did help tricky as it built up energy in him and, and he had transformed to an energetic hard muscled dog in just a fortnight right and he started to play with the rest of the dogs of the clinic question number 6 is was tricky suffering from any ailment in reality if not then what made him inactive and lethargic so actually he was not uh, you know suffering from a serious disease problem was that he was too greedy and any time of the day he could eat whatever was being served for him he was eating that right so no tricky was not suffering from any ailment okay it was his greed for food and the love of his mistress that spoiled his health to such an extent he was being overfed every day and that made him obese and lethargic that is why his health showed rapid improvement when his diet was controlled right so it is actually a uh, very much uh, natural when we keep on eating 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 all the day and keep on resting all the day without doing any exercise so same is the condition of everyone we will also get such type of ailment if we are eating every time right briefly describe harriet's days of content now this is very interesting question as we have uh, uh, studied in the chapter that uh, when had uh, when the uh, uh, dog tricky was that in the hospital in the surgery of doctor so that time when mrs pampre called him and asked about the condition uh, whether he is he is curing or not so that time the doctor told yeah there is improvement in his condition so she started giving different type of uh, food items eat tables like eggs berandi or uh, you know some uh, chocolate cakes like that so that was you know uh, treating uh, the doctor and his staff so that point we will write down here that we briefly describe harriet's days of content so the time of tricky's stay at the hospital was a period of content for harriet he used to enjoy the treat that arrived in the name of tricky as he could not afford all uh, all this for himself harriet used this is heroji that is why mistake i don't know how it is t okay at the place of double j it is t used to relish the fresh eggs in breakfast wine before and during lunch and brandy in night right so that was a very uh, good time for him and for his staff too do you think tricky was enjoying his stay at the hospital right yes tricky was definitely enjoying his stay in the hospital he had uh, befriended the gang of shabby household dogs he had found a new joy in being bowled over trampled on the squashed he had also became very energetic and he used to play run all the day long with the dogs he was having the great time also so dear kids the story is really very interesting you know overdoing of anything can harm us in many ways whether it is pooing when it is sleeping whether it is uh, something else okay so overdoing of everything is bad so dear students please note down this question and answers in your notebook and learn them for your examination thank you very much for today we will discuss some mcqs of this chapter in our next video till then stay safe stay healthy thank you very much